everybody. We're in Saranda and we're on our way up to see the uh, Monastery of 40 Saints and um, just taking a break because if you're going there on foot it's about a three kilometer walk up uh, hill. uphill and it's hot and uh, I'm just gonna flip and show you the scenery here. We've gone about a kilometer and a half already way from down there at the bottom where our apartment is. Scenery is well worth walking up this way. I guess it'd be easier to take a cab, but the scenery is very nice. We're coming up to the entrance here. With some signage. The Monastery of the Forty Saints is a ruined Eastern Orthodox monastery overlooking the coastal city of Saranda in southern Albania. The monastery was built in the 6th century AD. The monastery includes a basilica church as well as hostels for pilgrims and other guests and underground chambers, hot water springs and crypts. In the underground rooms there are a total of 40 small chapels each dedicated to one of the 40 saints. This monument witnessed devastating destruction and was reduced to shattered ruins during World War II and during civil war within Albania. Much of the massive structure of the basilica has been demolished and only parts of the side wall are standing. It still retains some religious importance to the local Greek Orthodox population and pilgrims continue to leave flowers there. Here is some lettering in the monastery. Most of it's surviving. It uh, looks like terracotta tile with lettering. So for somebody that knows the language, you may know what that word says. Or the, the alphabet. Okay, here's another room, which is dark, of course, but still really awesome. Look at those arches. And that's where they get the light. There's water dripping down these walls, so you can hear the, the water.
This is a very neat space. light little arch from outside somebody's lighting candles offerings like look at that it's so beautiful i love stuff like this okay let's go see if we can find another room Make our way out. Oh, lens at the door. <coughs> okay, let's go find another room. Okay, so this is the entrance that we just came down. And look at this view. They got it gated off from outside, but Look at that. If you're going to build a monastery, this is like the perfect place for it. It's gorgeous. A gorgeous location. Okay, let's see what else we can find in this dark, dark place. So you see that dark space? That's what we came through. Okay, I'm gonna need Len to get the flashlight so we can find our way out. Let's see if, I don't know. Is it's kind of like maybe behind the altar. I don't know. I hope it's not a tomb or something weird. Outside. Well, I imagine we had a crib. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna go this way. I don't know what you guys are gonna be able to see of this, but I'm gonna try to use a flashlight to guide us a bit. Is that paint on the wall? I don't know. I think it's just oh. like aging and water and Okay, let's see if we can still find. This looks like a hallway with side rooms. I'm wondering if these are all the 40 rooms for each of the saints. Okay, we are still walking down this dark, scary path and still no bats, so that's a Okay, so all of these rooms seem to be the same size and shape. Well, no, different sizes, but they all have the same kind of bench on the side. Interesting. Yeah, this one like doesn't have light on it. Right in the center there. Where? At the top of the arc there, there's some square in all of them, right? Oh, yeah, I don't know what that is. And I'm not going to guess because that would be wrong. And here's another one. This one's bigger, a little bit. Oh, there's some mosaic on the tile on the wall there. I wonder if it's just repaired. Yeah, I think it was repaired. Oh. It looks like lots of repair here. Like you could... was originally well, here's a thing. Yeah, it's been sort of repaired. Hmm, cute. I 
over the bench. So this room's been, had some work done to it. Here's another photo. And we're back out. Okay, let's try to carefully find our way out. Watch these rocks, they're very slippery. Well, the wax. Oh, I guess that means don't go in there. Oh, yeah. there's somebody living in there. Yeah. A very cool place. And there's the entrance. So there's the entrance to the monastery, the 40 saints. And we, when we got here, we bought our ticket over here from a ticket. And it was uh, 200 lek per person to come in. Here's I guess this would be the top part. I believe that this is the basilica part of the monastery. And it's the highest part of the monastery here. The rooms that we showed you in the other video were below this level.
and yeah, this is the high point looking out over Saranda. This is a uh, very, very unique, beautiful place to come. If you're able to come and see these, this uh, Monastery of the Forty Saints, I would highly recommend it. Both for seeing <coughs> this ancient architecture and um, archaeological and just for the beautiful view of the city of Saranda that you get. A really nice way to spend a sunny warm summer day. Well, I guess it's spring. Here is a whole, whole area of, uh, well, they're very broken down, but bunkers without the, uh, the tops on them. And some of them, well, they're grown over and filled in, but this was obviously a strategic point at some point. There's a whole series of bunkers here. One here, over, over here, and over here. And you can see out to the sea in this direction and out to the mountains in this direction. I'm not going to go in there. I'm just going to show you from here. I am going to go in there. I don't know how well you can see. Very low. So we got the 6th century monastery over there and 19th century, 20th century bunkers over beside it. There's the ruins of some building. I don't think it's an ancient building, but it's the ruins of a building which I'm guessing was probably, probably the same era as the bunkers that surround it here. Here's a set of stairs. Here's another bunker, which I think this one has a uh, a window in it. I'll show you from the other side. I don't know if you can see light through there. Another bunker. Here, Roxanne is checking out the bunkers. Oh, look at this one. You can see right through to the... I wonder if a camera is in there or something. This front bunker you can see right all the way through. To the water. So I'm wondering if there was some kind of... I don't know.
We are just leaving the Monastery of the Forty Saints. And we, of course, spent way too much time there because we always have fun in things like this, or <laughs> in places like this. So, what do you think of it, Lan? I'm glad we came. Yeah. Definitely, for two reasons. One, that we got to see an incredible view of Saranda. Yes, and secondly, amazing view. we got to see, well, the 40, the monastery. And um, also, as a side thing, we also saw some some bunkers on top of the mountain. Yeah, here. the bunkers were cool. So it was like wasn't a, expecting that. It was a triple threat yeah. tour today, I guess. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. We had a good time. And it was what, 200 luck? Uh, 200 luck each. 200 luck so each. So luck. cheap, cheap I for our afternoon. I can't do the conversion right now. Yeah. Off the top of my head. But that's okay. We had a good time. So we are going to make our 45 minute trek home see how we do because we've been out in the sun for oh about four hours and we're getting tired and hungry so we're gonna head home and see what the evening brings us so we will catch you guys on the next one later